Welcome to QB and K's Dog Pack. After months of not filming, we've actually done it again. But first, let's start with some introductions. Here's Macho, one of the newest members of the pack, possible heir to the throne. Next up is Kadabra. Mocha, anyone? Next up is Mama Aruba. She's retired now. She's pretty much mother to the entire pack. This little boy is Bo. This is a fireball son. He loves sticks. Next up is True to Type Daisy Duke of QBNK. Shout out to Keontae Osborne for producing this beauty. Next up is our Alpha Male 305. Before we continue, let me give you a little backstory. Without the power to go ahead and mount them, we probably would have been looking at a fight. So, yeah, 305 is all the way over there. He wants nothing, nothing to do with it. Tension. If it, if it ever eases, if either one of these two lowers the tails, then he's gonna come. All right, he doesn't want to be between the two. See, that's, that's what happens when you have two alphas out at the same time. Now, can a female be alpha? Absolutely. I can tell you right now, in my yard, Latessa runs the show. Now, power, power's the male alpha of the yard. Obviously. Let me make a quick parenthesis and explain how Latessa lost the alpha position to Cadabra. To play. And Latessa's kind of leading up into it, which is, which is precisely, yeah. Here, we may just have a fight if Latessa decides to mount her. Because she's been, yeah, Cadaver's been gaining confidence. Latessa just realized that. She backed down. She pretty much backed down. But, you know, the, the hairs in her back went up, Cadaver's. Latessa realizes that. Now let me get you back to 305 story from two years ago. And ever since 305 showed up, you know, he's been peeing. everywhere 305 peas and walks in front of his cage with his tail nice high like that letting him know hey bro I run the show and because 305 has submitted as you can see look look at 305 submitting look at his tail because 305 is submitting you know power's cool power doesn't have to test anything he already won just like that power had an untimely death in the summer of this year leaving 305 as the default alpha of the yard. <sighs> 305 made it all the way to the garden patch, and there's no mistaking that little Bo made sure he was right there next to him. Do you remember I said little Bo loves sticks? Keep an eye on them. Just like that, this little lilac tribe just took a piece of stick away from an adult. 
It seems my camera has caught the attention of Macho as he's being particularly curious looking at it. As it gets closer, he actually backs up. Wouldn't you know it, little bold Jingles actually shows up and makes his presence felt. Meanwhile, on the other side of the mound. And just like that, Bo Jingles strikes again. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He purposefully hit my solar power mosquito repellent with his paw. Same way 305 could run right past the pack and they not even budge. He knows how to lead them to different mounds. Basically, this is the job of the alpha male. He directs the traffic as to where they're gonna go. Our alpha female, on the other hand, likes to stay at a distance, make sure everything's going smoothly. Coincidentally enough, most adults and most pups are afraid to go through the tunnel. It is my mission before this series of dog pack is done that they go through it with no problems. Little Bo notices Mocha heading towards the garden patch. He already took a stick from her today, so why not? Did you guys notice what happened in that sequence? Let's go ahead and reverse it and let's play it forward in slow motion so I can tell you play by play what I think may or may not have happened. So let me start by stopping the music here for a second. Now pay attention. Kadabra jumps over little Bo and knocks over Ali that was standing behind him. Both Kadabra and Macho look back and see Ali belly up. Now, belly up in the dog world means submission, which leads me to conclusion number one. Lil Bo wanted to go over and stand over Ali while she was belly up in order to show that he's above her in the hierarchy. The only other conclusion I'm able to draw at this time is that since Ali was standing behind him and he wasn't able to see what actually happened, he might have been confused and thought, that Kadabra had to put Ali in her place. Thus, he's trying to defend his queen. You're probably saying that's a bit dramatic and overplayed, but the fact of the matter is, these are puppies. They don't know how to handle situations like this as much as an adult would. But Lil Bo decided to go ahead and jump her, even though the Queen Alpha and the adjoining pup were wagging their tails. He'll soon learn to actually look in that direction first before he jumps. Oh yeah, it was in this precise moment that Lil Bo realized he messed up. And just as soon as it started, it ended. Now make no mistake about it, this victory, as small as it may seem, is etched in both Ali's and Lil Bo's memory, until Lil Bo is able to do something to reverse that. For now, however, Kadabra is showing Ali much love. Meanwhile, 305 finds himself near a tree on the burn pile with some familiar company. Truth is, every time I turn around, Little Bo's doing whatever 305's doing. I don't know if it's because he's the only adult male or because he's the alpha. 
To my surprise, Cadaver decided to take a break from her supervisory duties to go ahead and join in on a good old fashioned branch and stick chewing session. Notice who little Bo's right next to and who he's trying to imitate. And just when you think you can't see him, you realize he's there. And just like that, a stick fight breaks out between the other two pups. But Bo, Bo's had enough fights for the day. He just wants to chew on his stick. Now, I didn't have an opportunity to introduce QB and K's Athena earlier to you. She is Aruba's mini-me, and she's definitely a stick dog. She doesn't allow the puppies to take it from her, so check her out. Now guys, I've had many of you ask me about Little Bo, and I don't know if I will be keeping him or moving from him, since for me to keep him, I would have to move away from his dad, Fireball. If you're interested in Little Bo, go ahead and download QBN app and click contact us and we could sit down and have a conversation. Before you go, here's a preview of next week's video. Lil Bo finds a carrot. Ali finds that a little independence goes a long way. Daisy Duke shows us her moves. It's gonna be all that and much more in next week's dog tag video. Ben Raul from the Q. Catching you on the next one.